Hey, it's Maria here from GoalieTrainingPro.com, and what I have for you today is the first in a series of three, I'm not going to lie, brutally hard, 60-second <laughs> intervals for you, but uh, this first one is, like, have you ever had one of those games when your team just cannot clear the puck? Okay, you'll thank me for this one. Let me show you how it works. So to start this off, we're going to do a little squat hop. So it's not jumping as high as you can. It's just a little hop to get that triple extension. Then there's going to be a shuffle and then another hop. And you're going to link those. You're going to make that shuffle nice and quick. So it's going to be hop, get low, hop, get low, hop, get low for 10 seconds. So this one I want you to picture that I'm standing at my left post. So I'm standing on the goal line at my left post. I'm going to pivot and I'm going to push up to sort of the top of my crease out in front of my right post. I'm going to slide across following the play and then I'm going to pivot back down to cover my right post. So, and then we'll reverse the direction so that we get both sides evenly. So it's going to be, so if I'm here, I'm going to get a pivot, push up, push across, push back down, push up, push across, push back down. And make those moves decisive. So I don't want them to kind of be floaty, you know, airy-fairy. I want you to move with authority, to move with power and with good stability. Where would your blocker be? Where would your stick be? Where would you be looking? You're going to do that for 10 seconds with authority. So. We're going to move from one thing to the next, so make sure everything you need is, is close by. It's not like there's a 10 second rest in between. You're moving from one pattern to the next to the next. So by now your legs should be burning pretty well. So we've got, you can, whatever your level is, my level is like half of a lacrosse ball, but I'm going to try two. But you're going to get in a nice low stance and you're going to hold that stance. So we're not even shifting. I want you to have to hold that static stance. My preference is to go overhand. See, I'm a terrible juggler, I'm sorry, but rather than underhand, because you're not too often going to be catching down in here, but holding that position, keeping your chest up overhand. We're not going to rebound it off the wall, and if you're really good, you can do that. I just don't want the ball taking off and you having to chase it. I want you low, holding that static, ready position. So I want you to think about... Uh, like when you're in your reverse VH up against the post, let's say, we're not going to keep that lean, but you know, you have to leverage off here to either move or get back up. So we're going to work that pattern, but again, not with all that torque on my knee and my ankle and my hip. So I'm going to come basically into my split squat position. I don't mind if you're a little bit over to the side, but you don't need to be. But then we're going to work just here, boom, boom, as fast as you can. Just getting that little push, like if you're going to you know, come back and recover or if you have to pivot around the post. So you're going to do 10 seconds on one side and then right away switch into 10 seconds on the other side. So this is the finisher. Your team can't clear the puck. You've been reverse VH. You've been just holding your ready position. Now we're going to finish with some lateral pushes. So staying low the whole time again because you have no power in your legs when you stand up. And it's going to be quick but full pushes. So kind of like nice skating strides, but keep your shoulders and your torso nice and square. So I don't want to see that as you go. You're just getting good, solid pushes, quick tempo, full pushes. That's it.